What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexi and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time once again for some brand new fishing simulator. And I'll be honest, <laughs> the same thing has happened again. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just log in, I would do a little bit of grinding, I'd get prepared for this episode, and then I nearly accidentally went on a massive adventure. Um, and yeah, check this out, we are now level 35, we are a seasoned fisher. And what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be going to the Shadow Isles, which I have been to, but I was very good and I didn't do any of the quests. And apparently the thing with the Shadow Isles is you basically like, I think there's like three quests on the island. And in order to unlock some special fish, I think you need to complete the quests. Um, so yeah, welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are amazing. Uh, basically, last episode was a pretty productive one. So we actually got ourselves this bad boy which is the legendary tulip rod. Now, amazingly, <laughs> I'm not too sure how we did this. We literally opened one single one of these silver chests and we pulled the 3% legendary. And I was looking at this and I think, depending on the level of these two chests, I think these two chests have the same rods, but when you buy the middle one, you just have a better chance of pulling them. So I think, for example, the 3% legendary tulip in this one is the 20% in this one. I think I could be wrong. So we don't have the mythic rod yet, but we're still like early days in fishing, so there's no rush. Uh, let me go and sell the bits and pieces that I've got. Oh yeah, look at this. And I saved up 100,000 coins as well. Uh, I caught some legendary fish, 120K, and I don't know what to spend them on. Hmm, what should we do? Hello, sausage. Right, so check this out. You can actually fly to the islands when you unlock them and you don't actually have to sail to them first, which is something that I kind of realized yesterday. So as soon as I unlock Shadow Isles, which I think was level 25, uh, it unlocks you like the ability to fly to it, which is really nice. Oh yeah, as well as that, I do also have uh, this little gizmo, uh, which is the hotspot thing. Now, I was actually really surprised because the hotspots, there's so many. I thought it would just be like one sort of area in the middle of the ocean, but no, it's a bunch of hotspots. You see the little, oh, you can't really see them. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the wrong side. Um, hang on. Ta-da! I've swapped sides. Yeah, you see like the, the mini map there in the bottom corner. It actually shows you like all of the hotspot locations. Now, the thing is, I was looking at these, right? So to be honest, like even if you don't have this little gizmo, chances of you finding a hotspot or just accidentally fishing in one, it's probably quite high. There seems to be like a lot of them. And I think, I could be wrong, but I think they move. I think they change location like every half an hour or something. Um, so that's kind of what I've noticed. I could be wrong on that one. I've got to kind of like double and triple check it. Um, but yeah, I think they move, not 100% sure, but it's really nice because it does give you like an extra chance of catching some crazy fish. Now look at this. I don't know what to do with this just yet. It looks like an area that we can explode. Um, so I'm guessing maybe that's something to do with the quest line. And I haven't talked to any NPCs here. I've been really, really good. So let's go and see what these islanders here want us to do. Like straight up, this is such a weird island because it's technically not really an island at all. It's kind of like these little isle type things. And there's, I think there's three of them. Um, and basically they're just like <laughs> really high up in the air and they've just got little buildings on. So the first one here is where you actually sell your stuff. Um, so I have used this guy a few times to actually sell, but if we go over the bridge, there are like a bunch of NPCs here. So let's go and see what they want. You've got Gilbert. Hello, Gilbert. Talk to me. Hey there, newcomer. What brings you here? I'm looking to discover new fish. Ah, right on time. I myself spend lots of time collecting and researching new species of fish. It would be great if you could help me out. What do you need? I need more fish to study and write about in my journal. If you help me out, I will give you something special in return. Firstly, I need you to bring me 20 common fish. Okay, cool. So we got like a fishing quest, I guess. Let's go and talk to Sharkira. I'm out tonight and my hips don't lie and I'm time to fill your boy. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> hey there, I'm looking to decorate my house tonight. I want to put two shark heads above my bed. Want to help? I'll pay you five gems for each shark head. Sure. Oh, awesome. I'll be waiting here for you. So this is a way to actually get gems. Oh, and there's a secret chest here. 
Nice. So yeah, once we've actually unlocked like all of the locations, I want to do like a chest location thing because the hidden chests are amazing. They give you free coins and they also like respawn, I think every 12 hours, I think it said there. Uh, so that's really, really nice. Okay. So we've got to hunt some sharks. We've got our armored boat, which is apparently not the armored, but hey. <laughs> um, we need to go and catch 20 common fish. And is there anyone here? Oh, look at this. It's locked. Looks like you need a key. What is this? Okay, so it's like some random um, secret. It looks like gunpowder. Oh, I wonder if that's to blow it up. Like that thing we saw at the beginning. Aha, okay, right. So I think it's all coming together. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I really like this game because it's not just like a simulator game. It actually has like quest lines and adventure and sort of, you know, hunting for things. Ooh. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a flower. <laughs> I thought it was something special. Aw. Oh, there's a dude down here as well. Hey there. I was thinking about having some barracuda for dinner today. I think you can help me out. I'll pay you two gems for each barracuda. Uh, sure. Okay. Oh, that's really annoying. I just sold all my fish as well. All right, never mind. Anyway, so let me go and catch some more fish. I'm curious now about that key. I think that's our goal today. Try and figure out all of the quests. So yeah, here, check this out. When we're on our boat, we can actually ping the location and we can like find a hotspot. So once we've done that, we can literally just throw our rods straight into the middle of the hotspot and hopefully we can catch some legendary fish. Although, we need commons, don't we? We need 20 common fish. And that's an epic barracuda. Oh, but that means gems. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm going to do some fishing. BRB. You see, the problem I'm having, funnily enough, is that I'm actually finding it difficult to catch the rubbish fish. <laughs> I keep catching, like, the uncommons, the epics, the rares. Uh, I think I've got 10 of the common ones right now, so we're about halfway down. Um, oh, yeah, very quickly. I wanted to say this for a couple of videos, uh, but I just wanted to thank everyone once again uh, for using my Roblox star code. Um, so I'm sure you see, like, the pop-up sort, of, uh, sort of above me at the beginning of the video. Uh, if you don't know what the star code is, basically... Like, when anyone goes and buys some Robux, uh, it works, like, on the desktop, and it also now works on the mobile app. Um, but, yeah, you have, like, a choice to type in a star code. So, mine is Thanksia, and basically, it doesn't cost you any extra money uh, when you're, like, buying Robux or doing a premium membership or, like, redeeming one of those physical gift cards you get at the shops. Um, but it does directly support my channel when you use the star code and you just carry on with your purchase as usual. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you. Like, genuinely, it's incredibly supportive uh, for my channel. Um, it's amazing. Uh, there's been a bunch of people who used it recently. I wanted to say thank you to all of you. And also, there's, like, I think there's a lot of people. I mentioned this in the B-Swarm episode. But I think there's a lot of people who, like, use the star code and just never let me know. Um, and, yeah, I wanted to let you guys know I appreciate you an awful lot as well. Um, and, yeah, thank you so much. Please continue to use the star code. Um, amazing. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful. Uh, and, yeah. Thank you very much. Again, I keep saying thank you, but thank you. <laughs> oh, I think I've got enough. I think I've got enough. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, so let's go and head back to the top of the island. Let's go and hand this quest in. So I feel like this quest is to do with actually unlocking some special fish. Um, because if we go here into our fish index and we go to the Shadow Isles, you can see here that there's three fish that are currently, like, blacked out. Um, so I think... This is the quest to unlock some of those guys. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, jeez. Oh! What is happening there? What is... Stop! That's some good parking, isn't it? Is that just going to spin around? <laughs> Alright, you know what? Fine. Don't think that I haven't noticed these guys either. Oh, yeah, I spotted them. I spotted them. <laughs> How very dare you, Fancy Lantern. Fancy Latins are in every game. I just can't escape. <laughs> My boat is still spinning. How did I do that? I have no idea. It's like spinning in a perfect circle. That's so weird. All right, okay. <laughs> so I think we've managed to get 20. Yes, here we go. Ah, you did it. Good job. Now I need some uncommon fish. Bring me 10 of them. Have I got 10 for you? Great job. <laughs> I'm going to need five rare fish next. They might be slightly hard to catch, but you can do it. I knew you could do it. <laughs> Now this is where it gets even harder. I'm going to need two epic fish for my research. Wow, great job. You did it. 
<laughs> now there's one thing that I need from you. I know this might not be an easy task, but please, I almost had everything I need. I need one legendary fish. Come back to me. You're an amazing person. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for your help. The least I can do is guide you in the right direction. You see that rock over there? Oh, okay. I've heard that there's a secret cave behind it. Inside that cave is a pond in which special fish swim around. If you're lucky enough, you may even be able to catch a mythical fish. The rarest type of species in the world. How do I get inside? Well, the only way to do that is to blow up the huge rock that's blocking the entrance. There's a TNT keg located in the sailor's viewport right across the bridge. Okay. When you pick it up, quickly carry it to the entrance of the cave and place it down. Make sure to be fast before it blows up in your face. <gasps> I got the key. I got Gilbert's key. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, yes! Okay, well that was not as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Just because we managed to get like one of every fish. Nice! We're going to the secret cave, lads! Okay, here we go, right, so we need to get the TNT barrel, we need to carry it quickly, and blow it up. How do we get there quickly though? So we need to go from here, all the way down there. Okay, so I've unlocked it. Okay, I've got, I've got 60 seconds, I've got 60 seconds. Run! No! Oh, jeez. Okay. So if we fall, we don't do so hot. All right. We've got to be careful. I wonder if we need to go up and down the bridges. I kind of feel like maybe. All right, let's try it again. Hang on. Oh my goodness, dude. This is low-key difficult. Um, so yeah, my little tip for this is to actually zoom your character the whole way in. Uh, because this way you can actually see like where the staircases are going, basically. Um, so yeah, this is probably the easiest way to do it. I was trying to do it with my character zoomed out and it just was not happening. Um, so if we are super duper uber quick, we should be able to get this done in time. We've only got 60 seconds, but I think we should be good. Wait, are we on the wrong island? Oh no, 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 we're here, we're here, we're here. Go, 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 go. Speed, 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 speed. Drop. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Stop, drop, 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 drop. Yes, and run, 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 run. Can we do it? Can we do it? Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! So we managed to actually have the secret cave. Hey, okay. I mean, that was, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. So apparently this is like a very secret sneaky cave. Is there anything in the water? No. Is there? I don't think so. Okay, so in theory, what should happen now is when we actually fish in here, we should be pulling... Oh. Hey, why can't I fish? Oh, jeez. Fish. There we go. Okay, so what are we going to get from here? I feel like it's going to be the, the new, like, rarer species or something. Uh, so let's see what we get. We get... Okay, so a common mini mahi, which is the common. I imagine that hopefully these sell for, like, a better price. Uh, we have the rare swordfish, the shadow swordfish. Okay, but what about the super rare one? Oh, this looks like it is. What is it? 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 It's a mythic bluefish! Yeah! Okay. So now we actually have all of the fish from the Shadow Isles. Awesome. Okay, so my first backpack is full. My boat is still spinning. <laughs> and I'm kind of wondering, like, um, what sort of prices are we going to get for these fish, basically? Um, so currently, I've been leveling up mainly by using the ocean fish. Um, I feel like that's probably the best place for me to be fishing right now but maybe this is better i don't know uh let's have a little look um so these well that's from outside a legendary snapper barracuda these for outside okay so here we go the rare uh, shadow swordfish are 250 each uh not too bad uh how are the mythic blue fish they're nearly 3,000 each oh okay let's actually have a look at one of these fish i want to see what they look like uh, yeah, there it is, the epic bluefish. <laughs> oh, it's quite pretty, isn't it? It's a big boy. Nice. Okay, so, I mean, we can... Hey, take my fish. S sell my fish. Take my fish. Here you go. There we go. <laughs> nice. Come back again. 
Did I get the money for that? Did you just cut me out of six fish? I didn't see. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I need to, like, compare the prices. But the good news is we've actually managed to unlock all of these bad boys now. Uh, and next up, we are going to be going to, uh, yeah, the Ancient Shores. So we need to be level 40 to unlock that. Um, so I've got three more levels left to grind. I don't think it'll take me too long. Um, so yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go and level up to level 40. So that just means catching fish, basically. Okay, I think we're super close. I think this could actually take us to level 40. Yeah! Woohoo! Ancient Shores unlocked. And we have the Devoted to Fishing level 40 title. Boom! Okay, nice. So... I think what we'll do is we will save uh, the next world for the next episode. Uh, I'm going to try my best not to, like, grind too much or anything. Um, and, yeah, we will continue on with the adventure. Apparently, the next island is supposed to be, like, the biggest one. Um, loads of fish. I'm sure there's going to be loads of quest lines and stuff as well. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be amazing. Uh, but, yeah, if you did enjoy this, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya!